Hello, my name is Anna McKessock. Um, my father, Stanley McKessock, was on the Russian convoys during World War II and he was on HMS Premier, which was an aircraft carrier, and he was a gunner. He spent several months out on those ICCs coming to and forth Russia um, to help the Arctic convoys take supplies into Russia, which was the Merchant Navy. The war had begun on the 1st of September 1939 and uh, what happened was the Germans decided later on to invade the Soviet Union and the Soviet Union literally millions of people were starving and in fact, show fact they lost millions of people due to this. So the convoys took supplies, equipment and food into Russia to help Russia defeat Nazi Germany also. Now, as you can see from this map, supplies came out from Scotland over to Russia during the summer and in the winter as well. Also, they would go via Iceland. It was very, very risky. You can see the red areas where the Germans had their bases. So it was all the coast of Norway with aircraft and wolf packs, you sub submarine U-boats, which were very, very good, actually. The Germans were excellent at what they did. They were very skilled. So... For the convoys to get into Russia, it really was a tre treacherous and dangerous journey. The first convoy was a der dervish, which got into Russia successfully. But unfortunately, after that, things weren't so smooth. PQ-17 was an absolute disaster. Um, one of the head admirals of the British fleet made a mistake and he ordered sc convoy to scatter. It meant the merchant ships were left without any cover at all. They were just completely abandoned. 11 ships got through and over 20 ships were completely lost. PQ-17 actually installed something for a change of tactics. And by PQ-18, the next convoy to go, the British Navy realised they needed aircraft carriers and aircraft out there to help protect better the convoys. A massive recruitment drive started and young men like my father, Stanley, volunteered to change from the army into the Royal Navy to combat this. And the Navy needed everybody. They needed gunners, navigators. They needed absolutely everybody. And of course, navigation staff, flyers, people on the ground, battle control on mainland Britain, and men who had to go out there and had to protect those convoys. As you can see from this map, the white lines are how far the German aircraft could get out. Plus there was wolf packs, of course, all over the Atlantic and the North Atlantic. And they were, very, as I said, they were very, very excellent. So to navigate these convoys going from Scotland up to Murmansk, as you can see, they had a very narrow channel that they had to get through. And at Murmansk, there was a Kola Inlet. There was only one way out, one way in, and it was very narrow. And uh, you'll hear more about that in a little while. Not only did they have to contend with the U-boats and aircraft coming for them, they also had to contend with the weather. Ice would gather on the ships, which could actually topple a ship. And there was massive storms. Some were so bad, the gales were so bad, that they could literally buckle the metal of the ship itself. And the men were constantly out there trying to get rid of the ice because they didn't want the ship to topple over. But they tried to have a good laugh as well. I mean, they were all young men. They would have sing songs and get togethers, um, you know, and just try and make the best of what they could. And Murray Haddo always said, I used to just enjoy myself with my pals. I like going for a pint. 